Okay, I think that the next course of action in this game is to go to the right, because this is like a dead end, going north here. So going this way, talking to this kid. Oh wow, that's a boulder badge! You got it from Brock, didn't you? When you get new gym badges, more items will be available to you in the Pokemart. By the way, Pokemart is that blue building. Oh, I probably can buy Great Balls now. Pokemarts are in lots of towns though, so you probably already knew that, huh? Yeah. It's pretty, pretty obvious. Route 3. Yep, I'm going the right way. Oh, this soldier up ahead wants to fight. I will never put down myself to the fight. Oh, I have to talk to this lady by accident. I wanted to talk to him first. Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? Well, I mean, I always just kind of look at people with the corner of my eye, you know? It's gotta be looking at that uh, sweet dress, that, well, skirt that she's wearing. <laughs> Last Janice. Wonder if, like, any kids are actually named Janice. Like, really? <laughs> It's like such an old lady name. Um, Oddish. I would like to fight with my Pidgey. So I think it's probably worth it any either way. Even if it is just a weak trainer here. So I could've went to this before I even fought Brock, I'm pretty sure. Absorb. Not very effective, right? Yeah. I know my type of effectiveness. Charts. Let's mirror move. Uh, the user counters the target by mimicking the target's last move. Yeah. I, I didn't know that was even a thing, but now I know uh, for the future, and I will uh, not use that ever. Because <laughs> it seems terrible. Unless I want... Uh, I guess if I'm fighting dragon types, that would be nice, but... Why would I use a Pidgey to fight a dragon? I don't know. It, it's probably a thing. Pidgey fights dragons. It's uh, the new band that uh, my character is thinking of making at some point. Through to level 11. There we go. Learn the move quick attack. Uh, I think I'm going to forget something. Don't really need sand attack. Although quick attack could just remove uh, tackle, but no, nah, I'm, I'm going to get rid of sand attack because... Actually, no, uh, sand attack's actually pretty sweet, all things considered, because removing the accuracy of somebody else to the point that they can't attack you anymore is pretty, pretty annoying. I don't know if there is any uh, online battling that you can do in this version of the game or anything, but uh, if you can, uh, sand attack, brilliant. I'm going to forget tackle. This quick attack's nice. Not important to have, but it's good. At least in my opinion. Oh, you're mean. Oh, I don't know about that. I wasn't even looking. You just thought that I was and... Let's see. You shouldn't be staring if you don't want to battle. <laughs> this person I want to battle with, though. Oh, you're a trainer. I'm coach... I'm a coach trainer. Coach trainers are the ones who stand in various places to train trainers. I'm one of them. I'd like to bounce up and down, too, because we're bouncing now. We coach trainers are da are darn strong. I don't know why, but that's the way he was saying it. If I do say so myself. If you want to try out your strength, you should definitely battle us. Oh, I have some good strength. Looks like someone who wants to try your own strength. Do you want to have a Pokemon battle with me as a coach trainer? Battle now. Okay, here I come. That was a pretty, like, psychedelic screen, like, change in there. Kareem! Doesn't look like a Kareem, but... Pretty good. Oh, he's a Bulbasaur, too! Bulbasaur! Go Bulbasaur! Oh, he's level 11. But, uh, I think it's time for Pidgey. I don't remember what level uh, Bulbasaur turns into... Venusaur? <laughs> I don't remember what there even is, because I don't care about Bulbasaur. <laughs> but this is the one game I've ever used a Bulbasaur, just because I've caught one. And it doesn't seem too bad. I appreciate a good Bulbasaur, I guess. Oh. Oh, okay. Maybe this Bulbasaur is pretty strong. Pretty tanky. Gonna use another Gust. 
if I need to, I can always uh, use a potion, but... Oh, Leech Seed. Well, this might be dangerous. I think I can kill in one more hit, though. I'm, I'm gonna... Ooh, this is gonna be dangerous. I'm gonna have to heal myself just in case, because I don't want Pidgey to die. Not this time. Not ever. Because I think that there's still some sort of mechanic where it's just like, if you let them get damaged to the point of just like, death, then... Something bad happens. Leech Seed's gonna happen. Okay. Maybe this trainer is actually a bit better than I thought he was. Should bring out my uh, Pikachu. <laughs> just to give him a good old headbutt. Okay, I know that I can for sure kill that, though. No matter how badly damaged this Pidgey's gonna be, he's gonna... He's gonna do some good stuff. Enough. A good stuff. Maybe I should use... I should have used Mirror Attack and Leech Seeded Bulbasaur. Next time that happens, I'm gonna do it. So it's gonna be funny. It's gonna be good. Okay. Kareem. You are good. I would have been good if I would have used that mirror move, because that would have been something like Ash Ketchum would have done. Not that Ash Ketchum's a good Pokemon trainer, because he sucks every single time. The closest he's come to winning a Pokemon League was in Sinnoh. Like, come on. You defeated a coach trainer just like that. In honor of your strength, I will give a gift to you. You got a revive. Okay. That would be really nice to have. Uh, be sure to use them wisely. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that guy looks like he wants to fight, so I might need to go back to the Pokemon Center. They streamlined so much of this game, but you still have to go back to Pokemon Centers. Which I guess would make sense, because, you know, they don't want to make it so then you can just instantly heal and just, like, become super, super overpowered in that way, but... Eh. If they're gonna streamline at the point that you never have to, like, go back to town in order to use your box, then... Why not, right? Why, why not? It'd be a good idea. I like that it actually says your Pokemon should be all better now. I only just realized that now. Because they don't actually know, like, uh, I, I think that it's good? Your Pidgey doesn't look like he's bleeding anymore, but it is probably good. Okay, well, let's, let's keep going then. Well, I think I might need to see. Which way is more likely to... Oh, yeah, I gotta go up first. Or actually do this first. Three Pokeballs. Okay. I like that they give you three at a time. That's that's nice because I guess you probably are expected to miss two every single time. Hey, you. Hey, my shorts are cool, right? You can stare at them. I'm going to use that one as a pickup line. <laughs> I wonder, like, they should still have, like, the guy that says about his shorts are comfy and easy to wear, right? Or maybe this is the guy. Spiro, oh boy. This guy's really coming to fight. I'm not gonna be able to fight him with a Bulbasaur. Well, I mean, I guess I could, because my Bulbasaur is pretty strong. But, Pikachu, it's your time to shine. <laughs> with your weird little coat thing. Which I still think would be super ineffective to wear that, because, like, if he's emanating electricity, it would just dampen it, right? <laughs> Not very effective. Okay. Thundershock. I was gonna try to use Double Kick, but no. It's fighting on birds is not a good idea. It's super effective! 30 XP. There we go. It seems that trainer battles you do actually get less XP than actually just throwing Pokeballs at reg regular trainer... Well, regular... <laughs> Throwing Pokeballs at trainers, yeah. Wild Pokemon. Catching wild Pokemon, you level up like crazy, but... Yeah! I always wear shorts, even in the winter. That's my policy. But he's still not the easy-to-wear one. Potion. So I, I love... 
Like, I think that my favorite Pokemon game might actually be X and Y. It was it was such a big step up from all the other Pokemon games, and it was just so much fun, and they had so many good references in it. It's just, I don't know why I didn't beat it. I got up to, like, the seventh gym, and it's just like, well... It was good, but I just, I just couldn't finish from that point. Just like usual. Just never can. I'll battle you with the Pokemon I just got. Not a good idea. Let's see what he, he just caught then. Camper Victor. Victor Victor Charlie Alpha. Aw, oh, what? You caught a Nidoran? I think that they are, like, fighting... Fighting poison or something. I really want to say that because they just. But they always have poison. I mean, like, fighting attacks. That's what I'm saying. But. I need to look it up. <laughs> maybe I should just. I'm gonna bring up my Pikachu and see what happens if I double kick it. Because maybe it's normal poison. Huh? If it's normal, then I can at least kill it with a good kick to the face. Using Peck. <laughs> oh boy, I love it. I would like to double kick. Also, because I want to see the animation. Nah, eh, kind of sad. Not very effective. So, fighting... Okay, I think it is poison, then. For one. Because if fighting on poison, I don't think is very effective. But Thundershock, though. It just does a lot of damage, so... I might as well just... Oh, Pikachu's poisoned. That's not good. At least I have an antidote. <laughs> oh boy. Gets her a lot more hurt by the poison than anything else. Come on. The game almost just froze and, like, broke itself. Closing Nidoran fainted. 38 XP. Okay. If only... Done like dinner. Oh, he gave me great balls? Nice. I love that it was two as well. It's perfect. I just stole his great balls. Uh, Pokemon are stronger than the wild ones. Yeah, obviously. Now, is my Pikachu dying? That's the real question. Because it might be, but it doesn't tell me anything. Uh, not potion. I would like a antidote. Use that. There we go. I might even just use a potion now, too, because I have a, a million potions, and I just don't want to go back to base known as the Poke Center. Wonder if any of these trainers are just going to randomly give me clothing. <laughs> hey, who beat me? Have some clothes. Okay, that Rattata. I'm waiting for something else to come out of the grass. Here we go. Because I haven't caught one of these yet. Spiro. Which, for the longest time, I didn't even know that Spiro existed. <laughs> I didn't know this was Gen 1. You, you know how it is with the Pokemon Dawn of Darkness. It's, it's ba pretty bad. My knowledge of Pokemon is anime, and that's about it. Which I just need to watch the anime again. I haven't watched any of the Pokemon anime since the beginning of X and Y. Which, it was really good, but... Nah. I probably should put my Kakuna or Butterfree to the front. Yeah, Butterfree should probably be front. I'm not gonna have Butterfree as my, uh... Go-to. But even then, I'm not gonna use a Butterfree moving forward so much. As soon as I get a, a Squirtle or something, I'll replace it. But it does no confusion, so that's pretty good. Double team. Uh, should an old move be forgotten and replaced with double team? I'm gonna check what moves I have, because I do like double team. It's pretty annoying. Because look at Double Team. Move rapidly uh, makes an illusionary copies of itself to raise its evasiveness. Because Double Team is so overpowered in the anime, if we want to still keep going with that. Because it's just like, they use Double Team and then it's like, Oh, Pikachu doesn't know what to do! He's dead! Uh oh, okay. I could just replace Headbutt. Or just like, get rid of Quick Attack. Double Kick. How good is Double Kick? 30? 40. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Quick Attack, maybe, because Pikachu's already fast enough. And if I really need to, like, do something, like, crazy in terms of, like, competitiveness... If I want to be competitive and, like, 
fight people online, I'm gonna need to have double team. Because it's really, really annoying. Uh, Spiro's data. Inept at flying high, however, it can fly around very fast to protect its territory. I really appreciate that I don't have to actually say that I want to name them every single- Ah, oh, time. There's, I was trapped between a Bulbasaur and a Spiro. It's just like those, uh, things you usually say. All those sayings in life. Oh, was that a Bulbasaur or was that just my Bulbasaur? I think it was a different Bulbasaur. That rat is just hanging out in the middle of nowhere. Lure. Oh, I wonder if there might actually be some, like, high-level Pokémon in this grass. There might be. Eek! Did you push me? Well, I did walk behind you, but... It's debatable. I might have been doing some other stuff. Picnicker Robin. Oh, Robin. Let's see if it's time to tip the scales. Everybody has a Nidoran, but I don't. It's so disappointing. I need to look this up already. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible. I don't remember what kind of type it is. I think it's normal poison, isn't it? Okay, I was partially right. Because uh, it is actually... It's just poison. It's just straight up poison. But the best part about having two monitors is that I have, uh... Oh no, not Pidgey. I didn't mean to do it. Okay, Butterfree. Although poison, is poison good against flying? But yeah, I just have the, uh... Oh, it's just normal. But I, I just have my type of effectiveness chart on my second monitor now. So I can just kind of look over every once in a while, away from my TV, just to check. I, I remember some things. Not really, but I remember some things. I'm gonna use some confusion. Because I remembered still enough that Nidoran is poison, but I didn't remember anything else. So Butterfree is still useful for now. Because I don't have any other, uh, psychic type. Well, this isn't psychic type, but... You know what I'm saying. Nothing else that can use Psychic. Which is pretty sweet that I actually have a Butterfree that has Confusion. I go, that's kind of normal, all things considered. Level 7. Boom Shakalaka. Bulbasaur. Oof, that's it? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Okay, I guess that it's just like they always give three Pokeballs but two Great Balls. And there's a lot... Wait, I just heard a noise. Mankey! It ran toward me. It loves me. That's why. Mankey. I think I might need to use a uh, special Pokeball on this one. I'm not going to miss out on my chance on getting a Mankey, because I need a fighting type. Oh, I threw too far. Caught him right midair. If, I, if he didn't jump, I would have missed, so he just loves me that much. He probably would have gotten a regular Pokeball, but... Mr. Mankey... He has to be on my side. Because who doesn't love a Mankey? <laughs> well, I guess he's not even that great. I think I had a Mankey in my, uh... Pokemon Sun and Moon... Uh, when I was playing that. And that just shows how bad Sun and Moon was, that I didn't have a fighting type other than a Mankey. Like, really? An agile Pokémon that lives in trees. It angers easily and will not hesitate to attack anything. Uh, tucked away Mankey in your bag. I can probably have a lot of Pokémon in this bag, though. They're just all hanging out in there instead of inside of a PC, which I guess is kind of better. I'm gonna replace Kakuna, I think. Although I don't remember what Kakuna evolves into. And I need to know. It's very important. Let's, let's just do quickly do this. Is there a way of seeing all uh, original 151 Pokemon, like, instantaneously? Not that I need to micromanage everything in this game, but I had looked up what the stats are for Oddish and uh, Kakuna, which evolves into Beedrill. Beedrill is sweet and all, but... The next, the evolution of Oddish. Well, actually, Beedrill is levels. Oh, Beedrill would be better than Oddish at this low of level, but Oddish does get pretty strong later on. So it's it's worth it in that kind of sense. That like 
the next evolution of Oddish is its base stats are as good as Beedrill. But then I can get even better with, you know, Leaf Stones, whatever stones, blah blah blah. Vile Plume and Blossom. So, I'm gonna keep that and get rid of Kakuna. And if I see a Beedrill, I'll catch it. I think that's probably an idea. As sad as it is, and, and even though it does have Poison Sting, which would be really, really sweet right about now. Unless, I could get rid of Butterfree, no. I need a Mankey. I need it bad. Had to party. Sorry, Kakuna. You're getting replaced. Because I, I need to actually have a balanced party, which currently I have nothing balanced in the slightest of this. Which also I need to check the summary of my Mankey. Hopefully it has something good. Uh, Leer and Scratch. It doesn't even have a fighting move. Balls. Okay, I guess Mankey's probably going to be uh, my Pokemon to start with then. I'd like to move uh, you to the front. Yeah, that's probably for the best, because Bulbasaur can level up at a regular rate at this point. And then maybe put Butterfree close to the front too, but Mankey... It's your time to shine. Bulbasaur's gonna follow me around unless Mankey looks cool, but probably not. Mount Moon is just ahead. Lots of Pokemon up here, there, so be sure to stock up on Pokeballs back at Pewter City. Yeah, I, I don't think I need to worry. Because I have way too many of everything. Hey, you! Ah, here we go, this is the guy. Hi, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Whoa, you're, you're wearing shorts too. I still, I love that that was even just a piece of dialogue that somebody put into the game. You're challenged by Youngster Ben. Let's see what the shorts guy, yeah, of course he has a Rattata. Mr. Shorts. Go, Mankey! This would be a really good battle. A perfect battle, some might say, if I actually had uh, fighting moves. Let's see if I can actually fight it with just Scratch. I think Scratch is terrible, isn't it? Actually, not bad. Scratch! Okay, Mankey's not gonna fight. <laughs> Let's be honest here. He's way too weak. Pikachu can uh, use his fighting moves. Or a headbutt, because I want to see how strong that is. But at the same time, having a fighting move that actually works is pretty sweet. <laughs> Critical. <laughs> like it even did anything. Double kick! Oh, I will be able to kick you in the face pretty soon here, the Mr. Rotata. There we go. One hit. Okay. Yeah, double kick hit one time. I don't believe it. Well, I, I think I do. You just had a Rotata. Kid, you have a lot to learn. Shorts are the cutting edge in fashion. I, I think so too. Shorts are amazing. Not that I ever wore shorts. Are you a trainer? Let's get to it right away. What are you talking about? We can get to a lot of different things. But not really. Let's, let's be honest here. Kakuna. Don't even have a bead drill. Mm. But now that I actually think about it, it does all make sense. It's all flooding back to me from grade one. <laughs> that bead drill is what it evolves into. It would make sense. I doubt I can fight this. Well, actually, it might just use Harden or something like that, so let's scratch it. And hope it doesn't have any good moves. Oh, this might be the longest battle in history if I have to do this. So that's why I'm just gonna mash the A button over and over and over again. Come on, Nicky. It's gonna harden a million times, but I believe in you. You can scratch that hard Kakuna. I'm, I think I might just... Oh, no, he's just using Poison Sting. That's not good. I'm gonna switch. This Pikachu is... Actually, wait, why would I use Pikachu? Oh, I wanted to... Wait, isn't... Yeah, I could even use Butterfree on him. Yeah, why not? Butterfree. I think Butterfree is also poison, isn't it? Oh, no, it's just flying. But it has the two things to kill this Pokemon. Both Confusion and also Gust. So, 
Maybe I should be just using Butterfree instead of my Pidgey, but Pidgey's... It's just a stronger Pokemon when it gets all the way up levels and whatnot, so... I'm gonna actually gust it. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Super effective gusts. Can, can we just have Mankey grow to higher than anything? Poison powder, nice. So this is when Oddish is actually gonna get pretty good. Uh, if I had a new Pokemon, I would have won. Depends on what you mean by new. Is it like Meltan or something? Also, aren't I supposed to be able to get like Melton or something? Because I've I'm an early adopter of the game. I think I'm supposed to get something fancy and new and excitable. Found a revive. Also, technically speaking, like since like you can actually see the Pokemon in the grass in this game, shouldn't in the other games like Mankey it would be like the most common encounter if there is one in the grass because they just run at you? Come on, guys. Anything better than Rotatas? Probably not. I think I gotta get going. Get out of this place. You, sir. Whew, just taking a little rest here. A tunnel from Cerulean City takes a lot out of you. Oh, this is strong trainer. So let's see what we got for uh, using some potions, potentially. So I don't want to go into this so weak. And I have a million potions still. So it's not, it's not that bad if I use a couple here and there. Because they give you a lot in this game and still it's pretty easy, so. We gotta make sure that I actually do have my right person in the front and party, yeah. Mankey's gotta level up, badly. Hello there, I'm a coach trainer at your service. You want to train for a bit, taking on Mount Moon? Yes. Are you ready? Always ready for a proper trainer battle. Especially when you have uh, Vincent Van Gogh's paintings go across your screen whenever you try to do a battle. Meowth. That's a normal type. Too bad I can't fight him with Mankey. Cause screw Mankey. <laughs> 13. I can't. Yeah, I really can't. But I can fight that with a Pikachu. I'm guessing that you are actually supposed to be catching a lot more Pokemon in this, but still. Avoid it at all costs. Just do things the new old-fashioned way. Oh, I love that. Coins were scattered everywhere! And also that face, too. Like, that could basically be used as a thumbnail. The battles in this game could be totally used as tons of thumbnails. Man. Oh, he's faster than me. That's not good. Can I pick up a lot of these coins? Oh, here we go. I think I can survive one more payday, unless he has some sort of secret thing up his sleeve. Like, talk like a cat. <laughs> meowth! That's right! Okay, I can't even do a Meowth. <laughs> oh no. I'd have to do the entire, uh intro sequence to Team Rocket in order to do that. Hit one time. There's so much, like, I probably should just speed up the dialogue in this game. Because it just goes so long. Focus... Oh. I just want any sort of fighting move, like Karate Chop, maybe? Don't have any trouble going through Mount Moon. Oh, thank you for all the money. And also, I picked up a bunch off the ground from Meowth. That was a great battle. Take this as thanks. Payday. Yeah. TM57 is for the move Payday. It's a move that'll scatter money across the ground that you can pick up later for a little extra pocket money. But why would I put that on anybody? Because Payday isn't even that good of a move, isn't it? I'm checking it. Because Payday... The only people that can learn is... Oh, well, Mankey can learn it, because Mankey's terrible. Maybe I will use it on Mankey. Because why not, right? Because me... Mankey! Really? Just Mankey? Screw you, Mankey. Even though I have to use you, Mankey, but you're just terrible. 
Sarah, yeah, there's a Pokemon Center. I'm just gonna run past this person because I don't know if they're a trainer or not. And I need to get to this. Yes, I would very much like some rest. It's a very, very good idea. Get that Pikachu to sit in there and have some fun. Cause I, I think that that does just like happen in the anime too, is that Pikachu just kind of sits in the little hole. It's just like, oh, okay. If you catch a lot of Pokemon, you'll end up with more than you can carry around in your party. But all the ones you can't carry, you can just stow in the Pokemon box in your bag. So no sweat. Plus, it's no matter how much your Pokemon box gets, it's easy to search for all the Pokemon you want. Thank you, weird person that always stares at walls. Ho ho ho, Team Rocket attacking the good people of Cerulean City in their homes. Not a good... Not a good day goes by without Team Rocket being in the news for some crime or another. Okay, it's very true. Eventually I'm gonna have a voice for like every generic character. Also, this man might want to have to be the old Asian man voice as well. But it's going a bit crazier. The more you go. Hello there, sweetie pie. I've got a deal just for you. I'll give you a secret Pokemon, a magic harp for just 500. So you'll buy it, am I right? Yeah, I'll buy it. Who doesn't want a magic harp for 500? <laughs> You paid an outrageous 500 and bought a Magikarp. That's not... That's not outrageous. Is a Magikarp, like... I... I need it. It, it might have Tackle. And then it might not be useless. But Magikarp just in general, I mean... Does it just level up naturally into Gyarados? I don't remember. I think it does. But it's my only water type that I have currently. Magikarp. The water Pokemon. It's completely useless. Yeah, famous for being unreliable, it can be found in swimming in seas, lakes, and rivers, in shallow puddles. In shallow puddles. I love that. You tucked Magikarp away in the Pokemon box in your bag. Okay. Can I talk to him again? Can I buy another one? Well, I don't give refunds. You know what you're getting. Yeah, of course. I, I wanted a Magikarp. It's a Jigglypuff! I didn't know the Jigglypuff had a wind instrument in its throat, but sure. Am I falling asleep? Am, are, is any of my party falling asleep? No. Okay, good. Just making sure. Yawn. When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. How about you? When you try to catch a Pokemon, yeah? You sometimes see a green ring, yeah? This, that kind of Pokemon is easy to catch, yeah? The green ring's yellow, it'll be a bit harder. Oh, okay. Red ring, that Pokemon will be really hard to catch. That's actually really good to know, because I didn't know that. Okay, I have all the Pokemon balls on my belt. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that'll do it. No matter how many Pokemon you have in your Pokebox, only six can uh, be in a battle. It'd be pretty amazing if you had, like, 151 Pokemon in a one battle. Oh. Is this guy gonna battle me? Escape rope, need that. Hey you. I came to Mount Moon from far away because I want a Pokemon I can ride on. Hmm. I, I don't know, man. That sounds... Like I need to walk away here. I need a Pokemon I can ride on. Where's that Gardevoir? That's right, I can ride on a certain Pokemon like Onix. Okay. Gross. Uh, okay, how about you? Ouch! I just tripped over a Geodude relying on the ground. Okay. I think that's probably fine. I need a Geodude. Actually, no, I really don't. I don't think I care about rock Pokemon that much, because I have an electric Pokemon. So, by that, that default alone... GG, man. <laughs> 